Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how it's possible to connect two text boxes in Microsoft Word so that as you're typing in one text box and reach the end of it, the text automatically flows through to the next text box. Normally, in Microsoft Word, when you reach the end of a text box, what happens is the text will keep on being entered into the text box, but you won't actually see it. And the only way of seeing it will be to select all of the text and then reduce the font size until you can, or alternatively, of course, increase the size of the text box. However, there is a better solution, and this is to link two text boxes together so that as you're typing in one, the text flows automatically into the second text box. So here I have a document set up with two text boxes, this one here and this one here, and there is no link at all between them. They've been drawn quite separately. So in order to set up the link, what I have to do is first of all, click on this first text box, um, and then click on the border or edge of the text box. Now what I'm looking for is a small anchor, which will appear on the left hand side somewhere. Here it is, just on the left over here. So again, if I click anywhere inside that text box, the anchor doesn't appear. But if I click on the edge or border of the text box, the anchor does appear. And it's this anchor that allows us to set up the link. If I right click on that anchor, that I can come down to the option here that says create text box link. If I click on that, you'll see that my mouse has now turned into a jug. And if I move my mouse down to the second text box, the jug changes to show that it is pouring or spilling over. And that's exactly what will happen. If I click on this text box now, then I have created a link so the text in this top text box, which doesn't fit, will spill over as I'm typing into the second text box. Now, of course, that means that um, I'm not going to miss any text anywhere. It's not going to uh, be underneath the bottom of this text box. And it also means that if I, uh, if I continue typing for a moment here, just typing any old rubbish, that if I press something like Control A to select all, it actually selects all of the text in both text boxes. And then I can adjust the font size, I can adjust the font color. So both text boxes, although separate, are working as if they were one text box. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. It is massively appreciated. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It does make a difference. So thank you very much indeed for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.